These are the best five side hustles that can make you an extra $100 a day. Today we have two apps, one side hustle that has made me literally tens of thousands of dollars over the last few years, one that comes highly recommended by a celebrity real estate investor, one that allows you to travel for free, and then a bonus one for the people that stick around until the end of the video, and no filler content. The first source of income is an app called Field Agent, and it allows you to be a product researcher for big brands. So I just downloaded the app and I can for my location and my age, and then I can start picking up jobs. They just tell you which store to go to and what kind of pictures you need to take at the store. And I know this sounds too good to be true, almost like a scam, so I tried it out myself. And the reason this is important for brands is that they wanna make sure that their product is properly advertised in stores. For example, the job that I went to was at GameStop, and I was gonna be at a nearby store anyway, so I just popped in really quick, and I could make a quick $4 taking a picture of some headphones. See here it shows that the job expires in four hours, Hours, and then if you go through the app, it'll like walk you through the process of actually what you need to do, what product you need to find, and how to take the picture even. Here it shows you need to go where the headphones are displayed. It tells you to pick out a certain brand of headphone and a certain product, and then select whether the price tag is displayed on the packaging, and then take a picture for the app, and just like that, you made four bucks. Now, if you wanna make a little bit more money, there's another job here at a grocery store, Fred Meyer, and it shows three different jobs, each one paying you out $5 and potentially paying for your lunch while you go shopping there anyways. And this is definitely the lowest paying job on the list, but I thought I would just include it anyways because it's kind of fun. And if I was younger and I had to go grocery shopping with my mom like I did and she met someone at the grocery store and starts talking with them, I could have whipped out this app, made a quick 15, 20 bucks, bought myself a video game, probably speed run the entire thing before she's actually done with her conversation and been really happy about it. The next one is online food delivery with a huge twist. You've probably heard of like Uber Eats before or maybe Poshmark or DoorDash, whatever it is, all those food delivery apps, but we are gonna do it way better. Food delivery is a massively growing industry with over $100 billion in 2021, and the demand is just gonna keep growing. But you're not gonna approach this side hustle like most people do, where they just get in their car and then open up the app and start being a food taxi driver. Instead, we're gonna optimize the way that you work to maximize your profit per hour and potentially even bring your operating costs to zero. First, to optimize your hourly income, we wanna be working only the peak hours where demand is the highest and therefore your potential income is also increased. Uber calls this surge pricing, where your earnings per delivery goes up. And as a driver, you could make more than double thanks to extra deliveries that you're able to make on the same route. Like if two separate deliveries are from the same restaurant or restaurants that are nearby, you can pick up both of them and then drop them off on the way to two or potentially even three customers. The best times to deliver are gonna depend on your specific city and location so it's gonna take some testing, but in general, according to Uber drivers, you're gonna have most success from Monday to Friday, 11 to two, and then six to nine. And then you're also gonna get the best results on the weekends with just about anything from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And this is absolutely one of those jobs where just grinding it and putting in the hours and doing the work is not the way to make money. You have to be strategic, pick the right hours to work, but there is another way to increase your profits by actually reducing your operating costs. Because on any single Uber Eats paycheck where you make 30 or $40, 10 to 15 of that is gonna be wasted on vehicle expense. This includes vehicle depreciation, gas, and potentially increased insurance rates because you're driving more. And obviously no one's delivering Uber Eats in their Lambo, but these expenses do add up and they eventually take a huge toll on your net earnings. So instead, we're gonna skip the car. And I didn't even know this was possible until I was in Seattle a few weeks ago and I ordered Uber Eats for myself in the hotel room, got myself some wings, and I look at my phone at the notifications and I see that my delivery guy is walking. It took like 15 minutes to get my food because I was in downtown Seattle and everything was super close by. And I think the guy even had time to drop off a second person's order. So props to you, Antonio, definitely big brain move. He pocketed like 20 or 30 bucks in pure profit in less than half an hour. And the next source of income is actually what has made me tens of thousands of dollars and what I credit to most of my financial success now, that's having an accessory dwelling unit. For my non-real estate investors, an ADU is just a unit that someone can live in, often accompanying another person's home. Often it's in the same lot, sometimes it's under a different roof, but it allows someone to live completely independently than the other people living on that property. This can be detached, like a separate unit behind the house, a unit above the garage, below the house is like a basement, or a garage that's converted into a separate living space. And the goal with this unit is to rent 
rent it out and provide someone with affordable living while also making money for yourself. And the great thing is you don't even have to own the home to be able to make money from this. As long as your lease allows subletting, you can just rent out a single portion of your home and start collecting rental income. For example, I recently sold one of my properties and I saw it on the market just like the other day and I noticed that the new buyer is actually renting out one of his bedrooms, making more money than even I did when I owned the property. So while I was pulling in $4,000 from renting this place, he's making almost five, $2,000 for keeping the previous renter in place, $2,000 worth of value for renting out a huge unit for himself, and then another almost $1,000 for renting out a single bedroom in the unit which he lives in. And I know that sounds like a crazy amount of money to pay for a single bedroom, but that's because the guy that bought my property was a wise investor, and he decided to invest in a niche real estate market. There are plenty of hacks to make more money than average on real estate, but one of those is investing in a market that focuses on rentals. Think college towns, tourism spots, or places with a large military population. Lucky for him, he invested in a place that has all three. And if you're not able to make that much money from an ADU where you live, I recommend looking at about a two to three hour drive away from where you live and evaluating all those markets because it is very likely you can find something just like it. But Daniel, I don't have a house or a huge apartment or anything that I can sell. How am I supposed to sell anything if I don't even own anything. I read the comments. I know some of you guys are out there acting like this, but even for those extreme minimalists who'd own nothing and can't be bothered to sell their last pair of socks, you can sell other people's things that you get absolutely for free. Tons of people have spent the last few decades of their life accumulating a bunch of useless stuff. And if you offer a family member or maybe a grandparent or a friend's family member to help them declutter their house, I'm sure they're gonna be glad and you can use those things to sell them on Facebook Marketplace. On top of that, both Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace also have a free stuff section where you can get mattresses, couches, or even worn down vehicles completely for free. Okay, the vehicles I probably wouldn't mess with, that's way more trouble than it's worth, but if you can pick up a free couch and then clean it up a little bit, repost it with better images, displaying the product better, you can likely charge a higher price and profit the difference. Then you can use those profits to buy more and more expensive furniture or increase your inventory and grow your flipping business from there. And this is actually, coincidentally, what got Ryan Pineda started in real estate. What if I just found one good deal a day? If I found one good deal a day, I could make 200 bucks. See, when he was 24, he would buy couches for like 20 or 40 bucks, clean them up, and then sell them for a couple hundred dollars in profit. And he eventually scaled this business to have an employee, four storage units, a nice truck, and about $8,000 in net profit every single month. Eventually, he made so much money that he could transition from flipping couches to flipping entire real estate properties. And it's that business which made him a millionaire very early in life. If you wanna learn more about how Ryan did it, go check out this video of his right here. It's super interesting. This next side hustle has actually allowed me to travel completely for free the last few years. Now moving on to my favorite way to make money on the side, that's with credit card churning. This has literally made me thousands of dollars every single year since I started doing it a few years ago. And the great thing is it's completely free to start. The the process of churning credit cards starts with signing up for a credit card. This one in particular, the Chase Freedom Flex, has a $200 sign-up bonus after spending $500 in the first three months. Then instead of using a debit card or cash to pay for gas and groceries, you instead load up your expenses on this card. And it should go without saying that just because you're buying it with a credit card, you shouldn't buy anything that you otherwise wouldn't have bought with cash or debit card, which means no luxury ramen, that's crazy talk. She said she wanna go to Benihana. You know, that's what I take her. We take her to my mind. Let's get some chicken. Let's get some chicken. Because anything that you buy on this card needs to be paid off in full by the time that the bill comes. This way you can avoid all interest expense and late fees. That way the $200 that you get for the sign-up bonus with this card really is free. Then after getting your $200, you can move on to the next card. For example, the Chase Freedom Unlimited, which also offers a $200 sign-up bonus. And most credit card sign-up bonuses range from $100 to a few hundred dollars with some of the luxury credit cards, which do actually have an annual fee getting up into the thousands of dollars. Now, this also isn't something that's gonna make you rich. Technically, you only make money after spending money, so it's more of a discount than a way of making money, but it definitely does add up, and if you're even going through a few credit cards, that's several hundred dollars every single year that you make absolutely for free. But if this does sound like something you can get into, here's a huge list 
of a bunch of credit cards that you can use to start this out with that have great signup bonuses and are completely free. And lastly, bonus side hustle for those of you guys that stick around to the very end. I appreciate you. And this one's gonna be super straightforward because I honestly did a lot of research and looked through a lot of really dumb ways to make money when creating this video. All while there are more than 100 million jobs open in the US, the highest ever, tons of people are unemployed, and a third of small business owners are saying they have open positions that they just can't fill. I mean, the demand of work is so high that almost every single industry is starting to pay its employees more. So the last side hustle is just taking advantage of the crazy opportunity in the job market right now and getting a regular part-time job. But if that doesn't sound fun or if none of these five other methods of making money interest you, I've got 10 more methods right here in this video. These are proven to work and I share with you guys exactly how much money you can expect to make, how long it takes before you start making money, and a few hacks that most people don't know about when doing these side hustles. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next video and then you can click on this one here to watch it up next and I'll see you guys on the other side.